We didn't realise coming into this that it was going to be as complex as it was. Because we were jumping from place to place and we'd go from the ending of the film back to the very start. It was a bit like what Eilish goes through. I mean, we shot for three weeks in Ireland and, and it was a very happy shoot. And then Montreal was a very happy shoot as well. But it takes time for a film crew to knit together. Ennis Gorthy, where the novel is set, is a small town in the southeast of Ireland, and I'm from there. So the very streets where I walked as a kid, I put into my novel. Those very streets became a film set. So it's funny the way life moves into fiction. And then in this film, it sort of moved back into life. One more one, please. It was like a 30-day shoot over eight weeks, and we had very little room to move because we were quite often on the move in and out of different locations. Sorry, could I have the bill, please? We shot in Dublin, Enniscorby, Wexford, Montreal, and two days in New York. They shot the Brooklyn scenes in Montreal, a lot of them in this, but all the Enniscorthy scenes were actually shot in Enniscorthy, which is really, really nice. We all want to hear what life in New York is like. <laughs> oh, try and think of something to say. There's no imagining having to happen about what would this place really have looked like because lots of Enniscorthy has changed lots, but some of it hasn't changed all that much, and that was kind of nice, it was lovely. It's always going to affect your performance if you're shooting in the real life town, because you just really get spirit for that place. I know John and I felt when we were shooting there in Enniscorthy, it, it would just add something special to the film, especially for Ireland, I think. Would you like to dance? You know, in the period aspect of the film, I consciously didn't want it dialed up in the look of the film. I wanted it to be worn very lightly, both in terms of costuming and in the design. We ended up working with Yves Balaget, who shot Dallas Buyers Club, and he's brilliant. He has such an incredible understanding of lighting and wanted to use natural and practical lighting whenever he could because that's something that he's used to and it's something that he's so fantastic at handling. We had such a lot to do in such a short space of time and I don't know if I know many other DPs that I've worked with that could have achieved what we achieved. I had a great DP and a great designer and a great costume designer. So those departments were so incredibly well run. It was pretty amazing actually because you'd step on set and it was like you were in that world. There'd be cars from the 50s and everything going around. And then my main concern was leaving the idea of a period piece alone and just trying to be honest like you would in any film. You can certainly read up on the era and things like that, but I think often it helps to just try on costumes and to listen to music from the time. I was there in Montreal for a day and I was meant to be an extra. Of course, Saoirse is behind me, which means that every time they're preparing everything, setting up everything again, I can talk to her. So we had quite a few conversations about her lives. Shooting in those three countries puts you totally outside your comfort zone. But there's something actually really great about that as well because it's quite liberating. We were like a travelling circus and we just kind of stuck together and we all went on this journey together. 